Hi guys, it's Rose from the Philippines. Today is May 24, 2016. It's a Tuesday and I'm recording this afternoon. It's almost 2 p.m. And I turned the camera to night mode so I would be brighter because it's pretty dim here in my room. So welcome to the podcast. Thanks for the new subscribers and to the old ones. Hello guys. Um, I'm happy to say that I gave the Twitter mock to an inaimi because we visited them last Sunday. I gave it to her Ronald. And she put it beside the bed of Auntie Naomi because she was resting then. And my cousin from the state, she posted the Twiddle Moth online on Facebook. And she was thankful for me making it for her. So I have a few items to show you today. Some posts and some whips. So I think I'm going to start with the posts. So I finally made the Louisa doll. This is an experimental doll and I want to try my hand on it. Uh, if I can create a uh, design of my own. So for this doll, I made her, I made her a red dress. And the skirt part is made out of shell stitch. And she has black boots. And her hair, it is the chestnut yarn that I use for the ballerina. Because there are plenty of leftovers. So I use that for her hair, for her hair. And I put some ponytails, two ponytails on the side. I'm supposed to give this to Sophie because from long time ago she wanted me to make her some Tinker Bell, but I decided just to make her this. And I'm hoping to make another dress for her, maybe a pink one. So she became taller because I boosted up the boots part. I put foam inside so she will be taller. She's supposed to be this long up until here. But I put fiber heel inside the boots so she became taller. So that is what I call Louisa doll. So I can let uh, Sophie play with this because I've already shown it. My second um, finished objects are the two sandals. So I made the back part of it, I put some, uh, I could shade around garter and then I made this part. So it would have slid off the baby's feet easily. And I told Ate Didi that I'm going to do that so she knows. And this one has some braided design. That is how it is sideways. So that's the first beauties. And I'm hoping it will fit the baby because she's just a few weeks old and it wouldn't slid off her. The second one is this one. For this one, I made the mistake of putting the flower sideways. It's supposed to be a big flower in the middle part of this. And I put some uh, double crochet here so it will separate the toes, the big toe from the rest of the toes. So, in order not to slid off again, see. And these, are, these have green parts. I put some buttons embellishment. But it's just for design. 
So it will have that extra pop twist. And for my customer who ordered that, it's the casting of Ate Dili. I'm going to give her the Hello Kitty. So the Hello Kitty I made, I put the keychains already. So whenever I have a new customer, I can give it as a giveaway to them. So those are the sandals. And I also managed to put together the box. The boxes. I have four of these. This is the first one. I have two of these and they are I think they are two inches in height. I didn't put the upper part of it because the size of the hole depends on the cell phone that's going to be fitted here. So I didn't do that but I've already pre-cut some of the cartons and I'm going to put some felt on them so that they will, they will be more rigid and wouldn't um, it wouldn't be destroyed easily. So those are the two boxes. And I also managed to assemble this. This ones they have the felt inside already. And I've glued them together. So for this one I think this is two and a half inches in height. So it's pretty tall. Taller than the first two boxes. And I pre cut some of the some of the carton is going to be in the upper part. Depends on the cell phone. The whole. So those are the cell phone box and I think I'm going to make some blue parts. I wanted I wanted to still try if I can make the golden state logo design, if I can embroider it and incorporate it with the box stand. Uh, it's just my plan. So I don't know if I'm going to make other types of design for it like Graymon or Spongebob or maybe Minions. So this is the stands and I put here all the repaired bracelets that auntie asked me so I still have I need I think two more to make but I ran out of crimps we are the stoppers for the lock part so we can close it and it wouldn't, you wouldn't use the elastic one. So those are the stoppers, the frames. So I ran out of it. So I think I'm going to buy creams so I can make the other bracelets. So I repaired this one. For this one, I use elastic band. I put together the orange and the tiger eyes um, with this type of charm I think this is a bunny charm and for this one I use elastic band also because it's just plain beads and maybe a, a child or a kid can wear this but I think she wanted the one with the toggle locks. So this is one of them. And I still have plenty of this type of things. And I think it's supposed to be a necklace. But I didn't do that because she asked for a bracelet. So I made a bracelet. And I still have to make another one of these. And this one I really like because it is colorful. And it has different colors of beads. And the last one is this one. For this one, the original design, it has this pearl one and then a big crimps. 
pearl one in a big creeps. So, I untangled that. And I just put some glass, blue glass beads in between. So, those are the bracelets. Another finished object is Billy the Hedgehog. Shown you this already on Instagram. And I said there that his features became too big. That the whole body kind of looks like his head alone. But it turned out quite cute and Mikol likes him. He has his pointy pointy nose. Some ears. Some feet. And some bow tie. And I'm thinking of bringing this to the office. Putting in, putting kitchen on it and bring it to the office. They, they would like to have this. And the last foe that I have is Quigu. Kinda, kinda sound like Igu, the alligator that I made from before. But it's really Quigu. Q-U-I-G-O-O. So I name all the amigurumis that I make. The ones that are not orders. And this one, I named him Quigu. He has some flippers. And this design is from the internet. It's not my own design. I just picture it and then I mesh I manage to put it together in my own mind. So he yeah, has some pointy nose. Uh, for this one I used the Rosario yards, the cotton ones. So, the black of him is Rosario yarn. This one is also Rosario yarn and also the orange one. So, he has a blue scarf. And I managed to put this together yesterday and today. But I had his body for a while now. And I'm going to finish the other one. If I can. The... Totoro one. So those are my poles. And I would just like to show you Igu and Kepka. Because we washed our pillows the last time. And I also washed Kepler. So I was playing with Kepler uh, Kepler with Daniel. But he is a snob. <laughs> so this is Kepler. This is a project of mine from way back then. <laughs> Last year. When Kuya JP wanted to make some um, puppets. This one is a puppet. You can open and close his mouth. Because you can slid your hands inside this hole. And... His teeth is not that aligned, but he manages. This is Kepler, the alligator. And the other one is Igu. I also made a fox puppet from before. But I don't know where it is. So this is Igu. He is also a puppet. And that's how it is. Because for the new subscribers, they didn't see this. And they are still with me. Mama just kept them somewhere. And then when I saw them, I washed them. Because they are, they are quite dirty. So for my whips, I am still making the knitted Carter Stitch slouch hat. And I'm just wondering when I should stop with the plain garter stitch and start the the brim part. So I think this is 7 inches long and I'm thinking about going on up until 8 inches 
and then I will start the decrease because I think it's supposed to be that way so it will, it will be a very long slouch hat because from the picture the back of it is pretty long I think then after that I can put the design which is I'm dreading to do because I don't know if I can make it but I'm hopeful that I can cross fingers so that's the whip the garter stitch hat another whip is my Amigurumi Monster eyelash yarn. The eyelash yarn Miss Jan gave me. Hi Miss Jan. So for this one I managed to knit all the eyelash yarn. So it will be the hair of the monster. And then I'm using the variegated yarn from Baguio the first time that I'm using it but I'm thinking that it's not that thick to go along the eyelash run. but I made two rows and the stitches they are quite uh, as you can see they're quite apart <laughs> So there are holes, I think, that is going to be very big. I don't want, I don't want to change the needles. But maybe if I'm done with it, I'm going to make a lining for the pillow part. A green one, so it wouldn't have holes in. So the fiber fill can go up. I'm going to make this again. Oh, yeah. I'm going to make this up until it turns out to be a pillow. And then see after it's going to be to be just like so. <laughs> so that's the Isla Shore. And I'm wearing this necklace. Because my neck is quite bare. This is a necklace I did before. It's still good, looks good still, but kind of rusty. But I think it's a good necklace. So, for the Oana's crochet bracelets that I've been trying to make, I've incorporated some mercerized yarn with the big glass leaves. And this is the start of it. I didn't do any more because I was making the I was I was making a wiggle. So I think I'm gonna still experiment with it because I like the way it came out the first two. So these are my whips and if you are watching uh, the yarn part is over. And I just have some, a few notes. I've written here that I find it hard to recover stitches um, whenever I make mistakes with me. For this one. I made a mistake here. I was supposed to, I think, pearl. But it became a knitted, a knitted one. Is the first mistake. I made some mistakes with the first part. As you can see, what you can see, there's a long line here that separates the other part. It's pretty visible, but it's a hat and it could go at the back of the head. Unlike with the you can just unravel it um, because. I find it hard to catch the stitches again for the knitting part after I've made a mistake. Although that's not the case when you are so long from the mistake. But for crochet, if you have a mistake uh, and you've gone a long way, it wouldn't 
It couldn't be the case. Or something. <laughs> In eating also, it is easy to forgive myself with one or two errors. Like when I'm supposed to pearl and not knit. I just discover it when I'm a few rows after. And I sometimes make a mistake of yarning over an extra stitch. So I end up knitting or purling it along the original stitch. So I don't know how to explain it, but I've written it. And for me, writing it this way is much more okay rather than saying it. So, I've incorporated the baggy yarn with the variegated yarn, with the eyelash yarn. So I'll show you that. And I just remember the the place where I want to buy yarn. From my last podcast, I said there's a place where Mikey went, and I just I just remember that it was the spin right ten sale, where there are boxes and boxes of yarn that have been overstocked or has been hasn't been bought. So I would like to go there someday <laughs> in my dreams. So I have a few shoutouts. I don't know if I missed some of the subscribers, but these are the three that popped up from the subscribers list. And it is Red Skulls. Thanks for subscribing. The other one is I don't know if I get the last part wrong. It's Anwar Alak or Alag. Sorry if I make a mistake in pronouncing your name, your username, but that is Anwar Alak. And the other one is Miss Lakenta Moss. Hello guys. It's a shout out for you. Thanks for subscribing. And I realize also, taking videos in yarn shops is not allowed in most shops here. You can see that taking pictures is not allowed. So it kind of bumps me out because you can see, I want to see a video of the yarns from the stores that I'm buying it from. But it is not allowed. But it's kind of nice, like from Baguio, I got some pictures from there. And also, I made a small video. Because, because you can put it on blogs, and you can advertise your shop. So, most of the time, they allow it. Also from Rosario. And from the office, I bought the three bears, but they don't like it. Because they are pretty big and they are requesting for smaller ammies. Like that from his hooking, hooking with hounds, Miss Anne. She makes some small migurunis like Pikachu and uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And I think that will be a hit for, the, for my sisters from the office. So I'm hoping to make more small smaller type of amigurumis and I've been procrastinating about orders taking I'm trying to make the cliche items that I like to make first and then tend to not prioritize the order ones so that's not that's bad of me so this is shout outs and um, school days is coming already. And we just have a few weeks before the school days of my nieces and my nephews. So, my sister-in-law and my sister has been busy going to the going to school, and because she's going to take her tenth grade grade 10 at Manila Cathedral also because and that is where Marius and Sophie is schooling so they go there so I'll 
this school year, there are going to be three of my nieces and nephews that are going there. So, I'm hoping that Nicole will be able to help my auntie with fetching Sophie from school. So, that's it. I'm hoping that this is a bright video because I'm, as I'm sitting here, I'm thinking that the whole room is dim. But, I'm trusting the camera. So, I hope that I wouldn't be able to make another video in take two. So, yeah. It has been raining for some time, but only for a few minutes. It's kind of cloudy here. And we are anticipating the rainy days. But I'm hoping to enjoy the last parts of sunny days. So I hope you guys have a very fine time and some family bonding time. Um, thanks for watching over and over again and thank you for boosting me up. And that's it for me. Bye for now.